Question 6. Web design. Note, an HTML tag sheet has been attached for reference and all files needed to complete this question are found in the exam folder. And please note, one mark will be allocated for the correct use of tags, triangular brackets and correct nesting for both the web pages. Right. Open the incomplete 61 Airport web page in a web browser and also in a text or HTML editor, not a word processing program such as Word. Okay, ideally you need to have Notepad++. So I'm going to right click and say edit with Notepad++. And I'm also going to open this in Chrome. Okay. Question numbers appear as comments in the coding guide, coding to guide you where to insert the answers. Do not delete these comments. Okay, this is extremely important. You can't just insert the answers anywhere you like. You need to on you need to insert it very close to the comment. 6.1.1. Add a horizontal line below the heading top airports in South Africa to stretch to 30% of the width of the page. So 6.1.1, this is where we should do it. Not somewhere you feel like it, not somewhere where you think it should appear at 6.1.1, please. So a horizontal rule, HR, that's the tag for it. Save, refresh, see, and it needs to span the width 30%. Okay. All right. Now, please note, it's fine if you leave the um, double quotation marks out, but only for numerical values, not for text values. So for nothing else, but only for numerical values, you can leave the double quotation marks out. 6.1.2. Ensure that the table heading in the first row is merged across the width of the table. So this is the heading they're talking about. It needs to be merged across the width of the table. Now the problem is, you guys look at this and you see the example is TD col span is, a, is placed in a TD. And a TH is, the, is a similar type to TD. A TH is a table header. It's just a cell with a bold centered text. This is also a cell. This is just a cell with specific formatting. So you don't use both of these. You use either or. And anything you can do on a TD, you can also do on a TH. So you can't, cold span can't be done on TD inside TH. So let me just show you what you should have done because you guys do weird things here. So you were supposed to just go to 6.1.2. Here's the table heading. Here's the heading top South African airports. And inside the TH, you go say col span equals three. And remember, we don't have to put the double quotation marks if it's numbers, but for nothing else. And there it spans across three. So some people put in an extra TD and spanned that across three, and there you get no marks for that, okay, because you were supposed to put it on the TH. It's the table heading that was supposed to span across three. 6.1.3. Insert the six King Shaka PNG image to appear similar to the other images in the table. So this was a very easy one because you can literally just comment and um, copy it. Well, copy and paste it. So here are the other ones. Do you see image? And just please note of this tag. This is not a tag on the tag sheet center, but you can actually use this center tag to center images, center complete contents of web pages. Just take notes of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this entire tag. Do you see how it's done in the previous cell? T TD center and then the image tag. So I'm just going to copy all of that and paste it in between the center tags and change this to six king sharker. Let's see if that works. There you go, king sharker, PNG. 
Remember to put your word wrap on. If the word wrap's not on, it's going to look like that. So just put your word wrap on and then you can see everything nice and clear. And please note, you are allowed to set your um, file explorer to show your file name extension so that it's a bit easier so that you can see this is kingsharker.png. Okay. All right, so let's carry on working like that. That's actually best. 6.1.4. Ensure that the link to airports will work if a user clicks on the text, click here. All right, so this was a difficult one. Lots of people struggled with this. And the screenshot was also difficult to see because it was so dark. So if you could see the screenshot, it read for more information and click here was the words that was underlined. But even if you couldn't see that, the, the description is quite clear enough. The clickable text needs to be click here. Right, so let's go see what 6.1.4 shows us. 6.1.4. All right, so they've given us the hyperlink to use. So clearly, this is not supposed to show on the website. Just click here is supposed to be there, and that is the website that it's supposed to go to. So I'm going to insert an anchor and an, a hyperlink reference. And that is the hyperlink reference. Do you see? I'm just going to put in an enter to make it easier for you to see. So anchor hyperlink reference is the only thing you actually had to enter to get your mark in front of airports. Because now if we press, press save and refresh, do you see just the words click here is actually part of the hyperlink and it goes to that website. Now there's no point in trying to test it while you're writing an exam and they actually usually tell you not to test it because your internet is supposed to be disabled anyway. Okay, that was the first web page. Save and close the one airport web page. So we're done with that one and we can close it. Now is the more, now we're getting to the more difficult one. 6.2. Open the incomplete 6.2 flight rules in a web browser and also in a text editor. Complete the web page by creating the multi-level list as shown below. Right. So again, I'm going to once just click it to open it in Chrome or whatever browser you prefer. And then I'm going to edit it with Notepad++. Now, what we're going to have to do here, I'm actually going to put this in um, corners so that we can actually have a look at this screenshot while we do this. So you'll see what we want is we want don't fly if you're feeling ill, no mask, no entry, three, clean your hands regularly and four, maintain social distancing. That must be the first list. So let's see what they've done here. There is an ordered list. That's fine. Um, let's see that those four points actually ha each have a list item, okay, because they have to be labeled as list items to get a number. It is an ordered list because we want numbers, so that's correct. Don't fly if you're feeling ill. That has a number or that has a um, list item. No mask, no entry. That one doesn't have one, so let's add one there. Okay, I just pressed the button end on my keyboard to quickly jump to the end of that line. Clean your hands regularly, that has one. And maintain social distance, that has one. Fantastic. Uh, we can see, but I don't think it's going to make a massive difference yet. Okay, it's just added a number there. Now, this, the second level is if you don't have, if you have any of these symptoms and less common symptoms. So that was the first level. Now, these two, in other words, if you have any of these symptoms and less common symptoms, that's the second level. And they must also be an ordered list because it's A, B. So I need to insert a new ordered list here. And I need to close the ordered list. Now, the problem is a lot of people close the ordered list here after less common symptoms there exactly but actually you should close it here because that's where the list completes okay so you weren't penalized for that but other things didn't work um this didn't display correctly if you closed it in the wrong place so i'm going to close the ordered list here so you'll see here's my second ordered list and there's my first item and there's my second item now you'll see it's coming right 
Do you see it's already indented that? Now, this one, the if you have any of these symptoms and less common symptoms, needs to be a AB type A. So we just have to declare it once. We don't have to do it per bullet or per item. We can just say type equals A and then it's going to, and remember I said you, you can um, leave out the double uh, quotation marks for numbers but not for words or letters. So that has to have a double quotation mark. Save. There you go. We're getting there. So if you have any of these symptoms, less common symptoms. So now the next thing we need to do is these three bullets under less common symptoms, aches and pains, sore throat, loss of taste or smell, needs to be a bulleted list. Do you see? And it's a sub bulleted list. So here I'm going to insert an unordered list. And the unordered list can close here. Let's see, save and refresh. There you go. And actually, for some bizarre reason, because it's a sub list, it's automatically actually made it square bullets. So if you did this correctly, the square was actually automatically, but automatically done. But let me just show you. If I closed this AB type, this a, a b one if i closed this in the wrong place let me show you what it did if i closed it here save refresh do you see it doesn't make it bullets it doesn't make it um, squares and it actually moves the indent away so the placing of this is actually extremely important it actually has to be here um you could then put in type equals square the the memo actually wanted that um, I marked it correct even if you didn't include that if your nesting was correct because if your nesting was correct in other words this was on the far outside and this was on the inside um, then you could still get your marks because then it worked automatically right so let's refresh happy days let's see if there's anything else no mask no entry clean your hands wash hands often there you go we're done so the big thing with this is not to get overwhelmed take it one step at a time take it one level at a time and check that you know what they mean um it's extremely important everybody gets confused with the fact that the type of lists are down here the numbered list and a bulleted list but then to create to to do each level of the list or to, to do each um list item is actually at the top of the next column so please don't forget that list item is actually at the top here um, and you have to put for everything you want an actual bullet or a number in front of there has to be an li so each item in the list needs to get an li and the type of the list so whether it's bullets or numbers just needs to be declared once with a ul or an ol ul for unordered list where it's bullets or ol when it's numbered lists I hope that makes sense and that helps. Let me show you. That's the final product and that's what it looks like in the end. So we have, let me make this nice and big for you. We've got the ordered list on the outside. That's for those four items. One, two, three, four. Then the next list we have is this one in here. Ordered list, type A, and there we've got our two items. Then we've got a sub list under the first, um, if you have any of these items, there's the sub list with two items. Ooh, and there's our catch. There's another catch that I missed almost, almost. Tiredness, do you see? We're supposed to add tiredness there. So let's copy that. And I wondered why there was a space. And let's see, tiredness, okay. There was our last thing. I almost missed a mark. <laughs> and um, then we have list item, uh, less common symptoms. There we have our sub list. That's a bulleted list. Aches and pains, sore throat. We've made it a square, but it actually wasn't necessary because it was nested. It, it figured out automatically that it was supposed to be a square. And then this one is also a sub list with AB. Right. That's your HTML.